Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Hope you're all safe and well. It's been a while. I make no apologies for that. Life gets in the way sometimes. But we have had Black Friday, Saturday, Sunday and Cyber Monday. I decided to get myself something. Let's take a look and see what I got in the Black Friday sale 2021. Hmm, well that's interesting. If I didn't know better, I'd say it's from Hobby King. Just a plain white box. But it is definitely not from Hobby King. It is from Motion RC. You can probably see here. You can certainly see there. It's Motion RC. Two batteries here. They're 4S Admiral 3000s. They've uh, bound them together in a single box. And these are, of course, for what's inside the big white box. So I have my batteries. They were also in uh, Black Friday sale. They always give you a thank you with a little smiley face. Here we have the free wing manual. And yes, I have a Rebel version 2 70mm EDF jet. Pages 1 to 9 are English. There's some specifications. What's fascinating about the instructions is that they lay it out as if you're actually installing the servos, the wiring, connecting the horns. Well, it's all done for you. You don't have to do any of that. Central gravity, 100 or 90 to 100 millimetres from the leading edge at the wing root. Here we have the typical free wing way of showing the elevator, aileron, rudder and flat movements, H1, H2, low rate, high rate. So we'll be able to set that all up and that's basically the manual. I haven't read it so I don't know if it's in English or English. This is in sealed bags, so I don't think I'll be opening them today. Um, well, it's a Rebel. My motorbike is a Rebel 500, and I've now also got a Rebel 70. There we are, 70 sports jet. You can see the spar for the wing is already in there, and it runs along. And this is what's nice about this. Horns, clevises, push rods, servos already installed. Now the ailerons are on these real hinges. They still have a foam hinge, but they've also got these embedded plastic hinges. You can see them there. But the flaps don't, and all the flaps have is this creased foam. I might actually have to do something about that to make them a little bit stronger. Retracts. It's got retractable undercarriage. It looks, it looks a bit weird, but yeah. I think it's got one, two, three mounting points for the wing. And it's got some pegs here that slot into a plastic mount, I should think, on the fuselage. I 
can't see it's got any wing lights. It doesn't have wing lights. I don't know what they meant by lights. It might just be a standard manual. Hey, we have a goodie bag. And with free wing, they actually print on here what's inside it. So it's got different screws, a few clevises, and some connectors, Y leads. of different lengths but we'll look at those in more detail when we do the build here we have the nose cone and the tail outlet the exhaust if you will that's obviously glued on and it's plastic the this part the thrust tube if you like isn't that's foam but the white piece is plastic Ooh, that's quite fancy so here you have your tail plane and your elevator single servo but two push rods you can see they're joined here and then they split out and you've got the two separate push rods. This looks as though it's screwed in. It's got a uh, screw hole there, screw hole there. It's got tape over here. It looks as though this plugs in. And then you just screw it down. And this looks as if the rudder system sits on top of it. It's got slightly anhedral on that, slight anhedral on the tail. There's your rudder. Rebel. Rebel. I've seen some of these that have been misprinted, where they've actually got the word rebel reversed. So it's actually reading Lieber. This is all plastic, so it looks as if this pops over the top of that and just sort of screws in. Well, it's a proper rudder and it's hinged. It's got hinges here on the rudder as well. It's quite unusual, isn't it? The elevator is not hinged, it's just foam. You would have thought your elevator and your ailerons were both hinged, but only the ailerons are hinged. The elevators aren't, but the rudder is. <laughs> How bizarre. You can see that there, there, and up here. Obviously, servo, servo wires already there, horns already in. Everything you need to go fly after you put about six, seven screws in. Wow, this looks nice. Oh yeah, wow, that does look nice. It reminds me, I think it's, is it a T-34 or something? A Talon? I used to have one. See where the cone, plastic cone gets glued on here. Does of course have retracts. These are not sprung retracts, but you can buy sprung retracts for it. But I'll try them as they are. It has uh, great big squared off air intakes here. They obviously funnel down into a massive. Well, it's a 70 millimeter EDF unit with the motor here. I don't know if it means anything with the gold end, it certainly looks nice. That's screwed into a board. Uh, it has a big speed controller here. I can't quite see what it is from here, but it's screwed in. It looks like it can be removed quite easily. Mm. And of course this tail end is open because that's where uh, you place... Oh. Yes, it is screwed in. They've got some wooden boards embedded in the foam. 
So it looks like you screw into those and then you glue your tail ring on the end. Sports Jet 70. Rebel, these look like they're water slide decals. They're really nice. There's no paint on this, I don't think. It's just water slide decals. Let me just check the wings. Yeah, the wings might have some paint on, but the body doesn't. And I'm told it makes for a lighter airframe, but I don't know. The cockpit's okay. It's got no instrumentation in it, but it does have a pilot. Let's see what this looks like when we take this off. Comes off nice and easy. In fact, it's only got two magnets holding it on. It's not even tongue and groove. It literally is. Is that tongue and groove? No. Just two magnets. Uh, XT60. Well done. Love it. Obviously, it's got some servo splitters here, Y leads, three way leads for your rudder, there's your elevator and there's your throttle and your battery just tucks down in there. Hmm, this is all foam up the front. This has a bit of a notch in there that you just plug that in on, it looks all right. And that is it. That is it. So that is my Black Friday purchase for 2021. The Rebel V2. It's not a Christmas gift, it was just a Black Friday purchase. I do have two aircraft that I'm getting for Christmas. I've actually got them here, but I won't be doing the unboxing until after Christmas. So thanks for watching, stay safe, stay well, and I'll see you on another video. Cheers.